hey guys it's marlea welcome back to the channel you guys so the first activity today is going to be these cute little harvest paint sets that i picked up from dollar tree you guys the kids really love these um yeah they're really simple easy to put up and um a really cute little aesthetic yep he enjoyed it so much he had to show off to his big brother and sister <laughs> yeah so these are just really really cute you guys i really enjoyed these and this is how they turned out on to the next activity you guys so you will need a uh, some sort of uh, marker or pen a piece of paper just a plain piece of paper you might have laying around the house anyways I use printer paper and I just made um about nine trees on a paper and then I made a square and added just random numbers in it and whatever number is next to your tree you would use paint and finger paint it and put some leaves on that tree so yeah, the kids really enjoyed this. They were like, Mom, this is so fun. Here's my two-year-old. He didn't really get the concept, so I just made him a really big tree, and he just had a ball. <laughs> On to activity number three, you guys. So I had a couple buckets laying around from the dollar store, um, and I grabbed a couple of pumpkins, a little knickknacks from the Dollar Tree. A um, couple of these I still had, you know, hanging around the house. So that was good. And then I had this big box of popcorn that I purchased from Sam's Club a while back that was defective. And instead of throwing it out, I decided to use it for this. But it was a fail because it had butter in it. <laughs> but thankfully, I had this um, baggie left over that I found of popcorn. And um, for the rest of the kids, I just had to improvise and use some brown rice that I had. Still worked out perfectly fine. I just added a couple things in there like a poppet, some pumpkins, some clothespins um and some play-doh and yeah i later on went in and added some leaves in there um but i didn't record that so shoot <laughs> on to activity number four you guys um this one is outdoor which i love being outdoors before the winter comes here um the kids really enjoyed this i laid out a blanket and added their uh, sensory buckets outside my two-year-old and five-year-old were fighting over one as you can see but eventually they figured it out my five-year-old um yeah she eventually started enjoying herself so my oldest there was in the back playing football with um, my fiance and he eventually uh, joined us and they ended up liking it I thought my six-year-old was going to be a little too big for this activity but um, he actually was a little interest more interested than I thought and it was just something quick and easy for them to do that I put together so here they are sprinkling rice and popcorn <laughs> On to activity number four, you guys. So you're going to need a printer for this, or you could DIY it yourself and just use some markers and some color pencils. So this is a cute little scavenger hunt, fall scavenger hunt, you guys. This was so cute. I really, really, really enjoyed doing this with the kids. They had so much fun. They're like, mom, you're the best mom ever. It made me feel so good. But yeah, so um, this is the, the little um, list that they had. And we went outside in the backyard and we had a ball. Okay, guys, so for the last and final activity, as we were outside, I had the kids collect some earth things like acorns, leaves, little things for them to use for their Play-Doh. So I got these really cute two-tone fall color Play-Doh from the Dollar Tree. And um, the things that they found from outdoors, they pretty much used to make little imprints and um, fun little things with it. Like, for example, here I use the acorn, and when you pick it up, it shows that pattern. The kids thought it was so cool They're like wow mom look what i made so that sums up the five fall activities 
with your kiddos. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you at all, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, you guys, because I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Help me get there. Thanks. Until my next video. Peace.